bring in the president of the Federation for American Immigration Reform, Dan Stein. Uh, good to see you, Dan. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, you know, when you look at the calendar, when, when Congress comes back from recess, there are 12 working days. And in those 12 days, they have to raise the debt ceiling and also approve um, a spending measure to keep the lights on and the government operating. Um, how will this debate that we're having about a border wall and funding it affect that? Well, look, it's important for President Trump to raise the stakes. The border wall was a major campaign issue, and it's a surrogate for border control. And the fact that Trump's marquee brand is that he gets stuff done. And, yeah, it's going to be hard to get Democrat votes for a border wall unless you construct it out of recycled Confederate war statues. But <laughs> the reality is Trump does not want to look like he failed again. And so yeah. this is an area where the congressional leadership needs to lean in to make sure that they get that. You know, Trump obviously doesn't care if he shuts down the government. He thinks it's good for his base. He's getting it back into campaign mode. And if the congressional leadership doesn't Trump more support, basically, right. Trump's going to revert back into campaign mode and there's going to be more of these pitch battles coming up. But Dan, his whole point is I campaigned and I won on this promise of a border wall. So let's get it done. I don't think right. he is going to back off. Trump is actually assembling together the pieces of what really will be the, the, the Trump plan, which includes things like the RAISE Act to reduce immigration, improve skills composition, uh, the a merit system. He's also got interior enforcement bills that are pending in the Senate. There's a whole bunch of things that can be wrapped up kind of in the, this concept of a, of a Trump border immigration plan. And the, the Trump border wall battle that's coming up over the next month and a half Trump has some signals and indications that Ryan is not particularly supportive of putting this money in there. Trump feels that his stake, his reputation is there. And the DNC, with a, with a statement the other day, made it clear they don't really care about the border wall one way or the other. They believe they can embarrass Trump right. by not giving him even a small amount of money to start building the wall. Kirsten, do you think the American people care about the border wall? Well, his base certainly does. And as we saw this week, um, President Trump is obviously still really, really concerned about his base supporting him. But, um, you know, I think that a large majority, as you can see by President Trump's poll numbers recently, he polls very well among Republicans. But in the general public, not so much. People have been, you know, kind of digesting what happened in Charlottesville. Their focus is on race relations, um, more social issues, and then tax reform as well. They want to see their um, tax burden relieved. So border walls on back of the agenda agenda for a lot of the American people. Um, and this really comes down to messaging, right? So as we talked about, there are a lot of things that the president has been doing, as well as other bills that um, are helping to kind of put the grease in the wheels of our immigration system that he can be talking about if he doesn't, in fact, get the border wall funded like he wants. Messaging wise, he can turn the conversation to say, look what I have done well on immigration. So we're still making steps forward in progressing with our legislative promises and not really lodging this as another failure. Yeah, and Dan, when um, Congress uh, returns from recess, the president will sit down with key lawmakers, including Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, for a strategy session. What do you, you expect them to get done first, and what do you expect them not to get to? Well, of course, the funding issue on the border wall is right up here front and center as part of the budget process. And so Trump, by laying it out there again in Phoenix, is basically saying to the members of Congress, look, this is very mm -hmm. important to me. My reputation is at stake. I have to get this funding. There's also, of course, this question of whether he's going to re extend the so-called DREAM Act, uh, the DREAM yeah. DACA Deferred Action Program. Uh, FAIR does not believe that that is legal or constitutional. We think a, a mm -hmm. district court judge has a, a signal mm -hmm. that it's not. And so he's trying to project out that maybe he's going to use that as leverage that he might be able to offer that for the Democrats in exchange for a whole bunch of other things that Trump wants uh, to make good on his immigration-related campaign The art promises. of the deal. Dan, mm. Kirsten, thank you to both of you. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Have a good day.